Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and yes, it's time for another great exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a fake super slow motion effect on After Effects. So if you guys haven't subscribed my channel yet, don't forget to click on subscribe. And without any further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. First thing first, let's separate the subject and a background so for that i'm going to use photoshop and let's create a work composition first so ctrl n i'll make a sd size because i'm going to make a sd video in after effects so let's make it a sd size let's it's 1920 by 1080 and create and let's drag and drop this image over here let's make it a little smaller or you can make convert it as a smart object right click convert it as smart object Control T let's make it a little smaller maybe something like this size all right now let's make a selection oh there are various ways to make a selection in Photoshop so for now my favorite is pen tool I'm going to use the pen tool but yeah you can go on your route so let's click on P So let's make a selection, make, right click, make selection, click OK. I'll just make a copy. So for that, press Ctrl J. So I'll just turn off the visibility for now and let's work on this part. So all right, right click, let's make a selection. And I'll just delete this part, Ctrl D, let's delete this part too. And let's make a skateboard in separate layer. So for that, let's make a selection over here and over here. Let's make a selection. Right click, make selection, and let's press Control Shift and J to cut and make it on. So we have skateboard on one layer and a guy on the second layer. So let's board and let's work on a background so select this layer now right click let's rasterize the layer make a selection and go to edit content or fill so here i think this looks good so click ok now we have one clean plate subject and a skateboard so let's merge this two layer, Control E. Let's make a copy, Alt and drag. And let's press E, Eraser tool, and let's remove the hard edges. So now it looks good to me. Let's merge this layer again. Let's rename it as a background. So we have background skateboard or oh, subject oh this is subject and we have skateboard so now let's save the file Control s all right let's go to after effects and let's import that photoshop file so file import file slow motion new click on import and let's import it as a composition and make sure it's an editable layer so click ok so now here we have 1920 by 1080 composition and once you double click the composition we have all three layers that we make on photoshop 30 second long composition size so i'll just trim it like around five second long 
I'll go over five seconds press click on end right click and trim to work on so now we have five second long composition we have background skateboard subject and skateboard all right now now let's select the subject layer and make sure your cursor is on very first frame and click on the puppet tool over here so click on puppet tool and add some puppet points so here here so once you clicked on puppet point you can automatically see the keyframe over here let's add over here let's add over here let's add over here one over here one over here and one over here all right now let's go to very last frame that is on five second and let's move the hand something like this something like this let's see it how it looks press zero to make a preview uh, all right i think it looks pretty good to me now let's animate the skateboard too select on the skateboard click on p for position and r for rotation so let's add keyframe for rotation keyframe for position and let's move it to very last frame and let's move that to maybe something like this and let's add a little bit of rotation maybe something like this let's press zero to make a preview and this looks pretty good to me now let's create a null and let's select this layer and let's parent it to the null now if i change the position for null i can change the position for these two layers so go to very first frame and let's go to the very last frame and let's move it maybe something like this and maybe a little bit up now let's make a preview all right now select the layer press f9 to ease in and ease out So now let's select the background and maybe let's add a CC lens. So let's drag and drop on background and let's increase the size. And let's decrease the coverage maybe five. All right, now let's add a keyframe for coverage. Let's go to very last frame. Let's increase a little bit, maybe something like this. All right, let's make a preview. All right, now let's add a scale. So again, go to the very first frame, press an S to get the scale. Add a keyframe and let's go to the very last frame. Let's make it like 108. Alright, this looks good. Again, go to null. Same thing, add a scale. 
add a keyframe go to very last frame and let's make it like 1 oh 110 let's see how it looks again make a preview All right, that's the final and I hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and see you guys on next video. And it looks good to me and if you want to trick around, just play around with the keyframes and it's always better to give more time on polishing the keyframes. So that's the wrap up for today and I hope you guys learned something new from this video and see you guys in the next video.